I'm going to share a testimony of what God has done in my life. When I was really very tiny, my mother gave me away. And so my grandmother took me in, and I lived with my grandmother until I was 14, and then she died. I was completely abandoned. I didn't have anywhere to live. I didn't have anywhere to go. I came to San Pedro. I met a boy. I had three of his children, and they killed him in an alleyway. Now I was even further abandoned. I had no place to go, and I had three little kids. Seeing so much sadness, having so much pain, so much destruction. I started into prostitution and I started doing drugs. That lifestyle in prostitution is very, very sad, believe me. But my circumstances felt it was obligatory. I was completely lost and Sister Mercedes showed up. She fell out of the sky like an angel. She motivated me. She helped me. She reached out her hand and she helps me to keep going. I'm very, very thankful for her. With her encouragement, I've been able to leave drugs behind. Three years ago, thanks to the Lord and thanks to Mercedes, I left prostitution. Now I feel happy. I feel content. I dress differently. My life changed. I feel so different now. My life has completely changed, and I'm so thankful to the Lord. This has helped me. This place has helped me so much. I come to the discipleship class to hear the word of the Lord. She continues to send us messages on WhatsApp, and that keeps us motivated to keep going. I live happy. I live differently. I'm no longer in prostitution. I don't have a job, but I live differently now. One thing that's very difficult for me and has me worried is that I'm a diabetic, and my sugar goes up and down. I'm always having difficulty with my sugar. I have four children at home, and a year ago, my oldest son died, and he left me his two small children that were his. One of her grandchildren that she's caring for is one, and the other one is two, in addition to her children. I don't have a job, but God does not abandon me. I'm very convinced that God is going to bless me in a great way because of Sister Mercedes and the great work that she's doing. One thing that has me concerned right now is I have my daughter that started middle school. I don't have the money to buy her school uniform and the four books that she needs. Here we gave her the backpacks and all the school supplies, but now they're asking for her to buy five more books. Here I am, I'm very thankful to the Lord, I'm very thankful to all of you. God is going to bless you all richly, abundantly. I'm so thankful to the Lord. I'm happy. I'm content. I asked her if she could tell us a little bit about her house. I can tell you that, yes, I have a little house here close by, but I can't live there because it's not worth anything anymore. The, the walls are falling down. The sink has been rusted out, and there are big holes. It, it's no good. It's not any good. So now I am couch surfing. I'm sure there's no couch, but I'm couch surfing in a squatter's town that's far from me. There are no bus routes that bring me here from that squatter's town. I have to walk a long way. When she has to walk so long, um, sometimes her sugar goes up or down. It messes up her sugar because she has to do so much exercise. I'm very thankful. You can see me here. I'm dressed decently. I'm covered up. She says, in the three years that I've been here, I have not gone back once to prostitution. I asked her to tell us a little bit about her church. So I'm a member of a church that's called the Creation of a New Covenant. I take my kids to church to hear the word of God. My two little grandchildren, I'm taking them now too. Thanks to the Lord. We are serving God. We are a family that serves God and I'm very thankful. May God bless you all richly. I asked her if she had any kind of dream or do not make them or a goal that she might do. My dream is to be able to preach the word of God uh, to every person in the world. This is something we can only do with the strength and the help from the Lord. I asked her when she was a little girl, did she have a dream or a, you know, something that she wanted to be when she was little? She said, unfortunately, because of the situation, I wasn't. I wanted to be a school teacher. I wanted to graduate high school and be a school teacher. But I only was able to go through the third grade of elementary school. She knows how to read, so that's good. 
So I asked her of the things, the vocational training options that we offer here, which of the ones that she liked. And there's the bakery, there's the sewing project, and there's jewelry. And then after this week, there's going to be woodworking. That hasn't happened yet. And so, um, thanks to Jeff and Bob, who brought more ladies, and to Bob who's teaching <coughs> girls. And so, when she lived close, she used to come to the baking project and learn how to make the different things, and then she could sell the products that they made. They have to get a little bit towards the ingredients. But she doesn't come as much now, but sometimes she walks from all that way to be in the baking project and make, make the baking things, and then she can get a little income from that. Baking. And then as she's walking home, she's selling what she's made. 